What's up everybody, Jossie Joss back, and it is the third video that I've done during this stay-at-home pandemic quarantine time. A lot has happened uh, since the last video I made. Um, Black Lives Matter has been a huge uh, uh, thing uh, so far. Um, there's been protests and other things. Uh, this month is June, obviously it's Pride Month. So there's been, uh, like just recently, I think yesterday, there was the, the walk in West Hollywood uh, that was celebrating um, all Black Lives Matter. So that's not just Black Lives, but Black trans lives, Black lesbian, Black gay, um, everything under the literal rainbow of uh, Black Lives uh, Matter. So that was a really awesome uh, protest slash rally walk that people were able to participate in. And there was a beautiful, mural um, on the street in Hollywood uh, that said all black lives matter uh, so that's actually really awesome uh, but yeah lots <laughs> a lot has happened uh, in literally a month um, but this video is not about all of that as much as um, amazing as all of that has been happening um, this is a simple video about cookies um, so I got a third box of my fresh baked cookie crate subscription um, I have renewed so I have another three months coming, uh, so we'll see how that goes, just based off of the climate of what's going on. Um, me still not working, uh, you know, still furloughed and stuff, so I'm still on unemployment, so at least there's money coming in, which is good, but, you know, at least I got something to do, right? So this is this month, this is the June 2020 fresh baked cookie crate box um, and I'm actually really excited for it because it's bacon themed <laughs> so super excited if y'all know me I'm a huge fan of bacon um, my alter ego is the bacon lady so I actually have a Facebook page for that but I haven't really been updating it recently things happen life anyway uh, this box came in today and it says perishable on the bottom so I figured I should probably open it right now so that's why I'm filming it literally right now it's like almost nine o'clock at night. So, we're gonna slice this baby open. We'll see what we got. And if it's perishable, it should probably put in the fridge. Just saying. Open the box. And, oh. First thing is, what is it? It is, I can't even, so. This box got some you know, I love their little confetti that they put in the box, which is really cute. And I'm glad that they got the regular boxes back. Um, if you remember from the video last month, it was just this white box with a sticker on it. So I'm glad that they got their regular cute boxes back. But it looks like the perishable item is this item, which according to the sticker, it says candied bacon chocolate chip. So I'm not sure if it's candied bacon and chocolate chips or if it's candied bacon infused chocolate chips. I guess I'll figure that out when I actually make the cookies, but that's in a cool pack, so I should probably put that in the fridge. Um, ooh, <laughs> I think I already have a set of these, but it's a uh, measuring spoons. So your classic <laughs> me measuring spoons. Uh, pretty straightforward, stainless steel. You got the quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon, and one tablespoon. So um, always good to have around your house to have some measuring spoons. Uh, especially for those little things like, you know, like cinnamon and vanilla, things like that. Ooh, I see a t-shirt. Haven't had a t-shirt in one of these box videos in a while, so let's see. Get all the confetti off of it before it gets all over the floor. There you go. <laughs> Cute. It's a like a red shirt, and it says, let's get bacon. Indeed, let us get bacon. But it's also a play on words, of course, guys. That's super cute. I'll be wearing that. And it feels really soft, too. So, really soft, comfortable shirt, plus it's about bacon. That's awesome. Alright. We got the good old instructions, and what's supposed to be in the box. Right? ish so yes right yes okay so 
the directions and what's supposed to be in the pot. I'll read that in a minute. You now we got our ingredients here. We got the sugar. It's got light cane sugar and light brown sugar, so organic stuff, good stuff. Um, the vanilla extract is always in a new package, I swear. Every cookie has had a different type of uh, storage container for the vanilla extract for the cookie dough. So um, kudos to you guys at uh, Fresh Bay Cookie Crate for being really creative in that sense. Um, oh, another item. This is cute. So it's a pot holder and it says, don't be afraid to take whisks. Wah, wah. Oh, that's cute. I like that a lot. This is nice. And there's a little pocket so you can put your hand in it. Make, make it puppets or something. <laughs> and we got the flour, and I think that's it. Yep, and then we got the flour and all the, you know, baking powder and salt and all that, all that good stuff. All right. Well, that is the box of the for the chocolate chip bacon cookies. So um, it looks like I'm gonna have to candy my own bacon for these cookies, so that will be a separate video attached to this. Um, but uh, stay tuned for the rest of the video when I actually make the cookies and taste them. So for now, bye. What's up everybody? Um, I'm back and the cookies have been baked. They are cooling. Um, even the candied bacon part was done and that was delicious even though I kind of ate like a third of it before I made the dough. But you know what? It is what it is. But I still got enough for the cookies. So here it is, the finished product. This is actually the test cookie that I made um, with these fresh baked cookie crates. They always tell you to make uh, one test cookie to kind of see how the batter is um, and your oven and your heating and all that stuff and so if you need to adjust for like temperature or if it's too dry uh, they give you tips in, in the box of how to fix it um, so for me it was a scoop so this one the cookies that I made are actually a lot smaller than this one um, so I figured especially if I want to give it to my nieces my uh, my brother um, is going to be able to have his daughters for the weekend for Father's Day. Yay! So I wanted to give some cookies uh, from me to them so that they could have something. Because I know they haven't had any of my fresh baked goods in a while. So I think it'd be fun. Anyway, this is the candied bacon chocolate chip cookie in its final form. Um, I didn't know, I like while I was making the recipe, while, the, while I was making the mixes and stuff, I didn't realize there was almond flour in this. That is something I haven't had um, in a baked item before. So I'm kind of excited to see how it turns out because I've never baked with anything other than really like rice flour or all-purpose flour. So we'll see how this goes. It's got bacon in it, so I'm assuming it'll be delicious. That's just kind of how it is. Hmm. Are you kidding me right now? It's so good. Look at that. Got the chocolate. And there's little pieces of bacon in there. Like bites of salty and sweet. It's good. It's really good. <laughs> oh. And the chocolate's not like overtly sweet because it's a semi sweet chocolate. And I cut the chunks up in random shapes because they came in these little sticks. And so I figured I'll do some like triangle looking shapes and some other more narrow shapes just to give the chocolate a little bit more depth. Like you can even see it back here. Some of the pieces of chocolate, some are long, some are short, more like triangular-ish. So it was pretty fun uh, using the chocolate rather than like just chips. So that was awesome. Um, but that's, oh yeah, I'm gonna turn bite. Mm. Oh God. Hmm. All right. All right, folks. Well, that's it for me. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are all at home, staying safe. And if you are not staying at home, make sure you're maintaining that social distance and all that good jazz. Especially if you're protesting, 
with all that's going on with Black Lives Matter, all Black Lives Matter, um, Pride, all that good stuff that's going on. Keep your voices heard. Let your voices be heard. Um, make sure that uh, you're telling the stories, the right stories, and learning if you haven't already learned. I know I'm still learning, so I'm glad that I have resources and friends and other things that are helping me through that. Okay? All right. Thanks. Have fun. Have a great day. And uh, remember, this video is Bacon Lady approved, by the way. All right. <laughs> Bye.